This church, we focus, and I, I focus a lot when I preach on exposing sin a lot and preaching on sin and hard preaching and things that, that are designed to hopefully help you to get right with God and to stay away from sin and that we would have the proper respect and, and fear of the Lord and, and have this right attitude. But at the same time, we don't want to get a lopsided view to where it's like we're just walking around in fear all the time. And look, I, I don't mean the, the, you know, the righteous fear of the Lord, but where the type of fear where like you don't even have any joy, you're not happy, you're not, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, you're not, you don't have to walk on eggshells. We need to, uh, to have the proper respect and, and reverence for the Lord, but at the same time understand and, you know, all that we can be joyful for. And there's so much to be joyful for. And if you don't have that joy, then you are missing something very, very serious in your Christian life. If you don't have joy from God, from the Bible, from his word, from his direction, and from all these things we're going to get into in just a minute here that, that are listed, then you seriously are missing something. You're not understanding what it's all about. And, and, you know, hopefully it's not a result of someone like me preaching too lopsided on things and, and you're getting a, a, a not the right view of the whole picture. Uh, but we need, we need all of it. And, and we get that in Psalms when you just over and over and over again, the joy, the extolling, the praising, the, all the great things that God does. Because God's not just some big mean jerk in heaven, right? That's just looking to hurt people and harm. Like that, that's not God at all. Right. While he does, uh, while God is not mocked, and while God does punish and chasten and, and have wrath and anger and fury, he has all of those things. We cannot ignore that. We need to understand those and we need to remember those things. We can't just think that that is God. And it's just like today, we, you know, to the exact opposite extreme, too many people, I think, have the opposite extreme of, well, God doesn't have any anger and any wrath and is just all just, just completely loving with no consequences for action and things like that. That is an, an improper view, which is why we fight against that and try to pre- No, 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 you know, God's serious about his sin. You know, you, you got to watch out for his judgment. You got to fear the Lord. But we can't take that too far either so we don't have you know, a, another imbalanced view of God and who he is so that we could have the, you know, where he wants us to be and, and understand all this. So I just kind of want to bring up, we're going to go into that a little bit later in the sermon as well. But um, let's keep reading here. He says, I will extol thee, O Lord. And he's going to say why here. And one of the things that I see that seems a little bit different from here, maybe it's not, just kind of stood out to me, is that he says, thou hast, thou hast, thou hast not made, thou hast lifted me, thou hast healed me, thou hast brought me up, thou hast kept me alive. Like you've already done these things for me. You know, you've already shown yourself. You've already, uh, is there, thou hast lifted me up. You've already lifted me up. It's already done. You've lifted me up. Thou hast not made my foes rejoice to, over me. You haven't, you haven't made me lose to my enemy. You know, you're, you're there for me. You're, you're lifting me up. You're not giving them uh, a victory over me. Oh, Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. You know, I was, I was in need. You've already been there for me. You've done it. Oh, Lord, my God, verse 3, thou hast brought my, up my soul from the grave. I mean, you saved me from death. God. Thank you. And that's what he's saying. You know, I'm going to extol thee for all these reasons. You've been there for me. You lifted me up. You've healed me. You brought me up from the, from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. So many great reasons to be happy and to sing joy and praises unto the Lord. And sometimes I think people may miss all that God has done for them because they're focused on the wrong things in their life. And when you focus on the things that you don't have, when you focus on the areas where you have problems and that's all your mind is focusing on, you can lose sight of all that God actually has done for you. And how quickly we can turn, just as the children of Egypt did, the children of Israel did when they you know, came out of Egypt, it's like, what a glorious event. And God you know, showing his might and protecting and, and having that pillar of fire by night and the pillar of cloud by day and, and blocking the Egyptians from getting them and saving them at every turn and you know, to the point of parting the waters and having them go through safely and their, their enemies being destroyed and all these great victories and all this deliverance and so many things to be happy for just for them to turn around when they get 
get a little bit hungrier when they don't quite have all of the little spices and all the herbs and all the food and all, you know, and all this other stuff that's really just icing on the cake as opposed to what you really need and the things you really ought to be thankful for, how quick we can turn and just have this really poor attitude. We need to be, yes, focus on God's judgment. Yes, focus on God and give healthy respect and fear unto the Lord. Absolutely. But also look to our lives, the areas where God has helped us, the areas where he has been delivering us when you might not have even been paying attention. And if you have, maybe you notice it for a fleeting second and then it's gone. No, you know, these songs are great. These psalms are great because maybe they'll help you to remember all the things that God's already done for you. And that there's lots of reason to be praising the Lord.